On top of this mountain sits an abandoned cabin. Let's go clean it up and see what we can find. If you guys enjoy this barn find video and you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. Whew, well, I just pulled over to enjoy the beautiful view at this lake here, and uh, we made it to the town five to ten miles, I don't really know, outside of uh, the mountain where the place is that we just bought. So I figure we might as well head on out there and check the place out. I just came down here to check out the town a little bit first, and it, it's a pretty little town here, I gotta say. Of course, we drove all the way out here in our beautiful Ram pickup truck. Dude, this thing is kind of a... Uh, well, yeah, hold on, watch out, person. You know, I have a history of ramming things, not dodging them, I'm just saying. Um, I actually don't know how to get to where we're going. I don't have GPS, nor did I print a map, so... We're kind of just driving around until we figure it out. You know what? I think just beyond this house is... I'm just going to drive through their yard. I'm sure that's okay. Oh, mind me. Oh, that's how you got there. Okay, well, duly noted. So apparently, all the way down at the end of this trail is the abandoned cabin. And I hear that the area is really, really pretty. I bought this. Um, I saw a couple pictures and... Uh, it looks like it could be a... Was it a left or a right there? Hold on. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty this is right here. The bridge going across right here. And then you got the water pulling up right down there before it goes down the next level. Oh, that is... You could build a house here real nice. Oh, how about that? Okay, I don't think I am going the right way. Let's turn back around. Okay, I think this is the place right here. Yep, there it is. Oh, ooh, dude, there's like an old truck out there or something. We'll have to see what that is. Is that parked in the creek? What is going on with that thing? Here, let's, uh, let's try going on foot here for the first little bit. So the place is just on the other side of this little pond here. Obviously, I don't want to walk through the pond. We have that little walkway. That might lead around. You know what? Let's try that. Okay, so we're not going to be able to drive back here, but it looks like we're able to walk over there from here. I wonder if we can get across that other direction. Hold on. Because I want to get my truck over there. Okay, so if I want to kind of cut across here... Oh, well, you know what? That doesn't look that bad if I can get around that rock. Yeah. I think we can do that. Here, let's try it here. Ooh, put that tire on that rock instead. There you go. Just don't tip down on in. Perfect. Watch out for that tree stump right there. We're not bottoming out or anything. We're good. Watch in that side in the front. We're going to go through the bush a little bit, but you know what? That'll be okay. Don't want to hit that lock. Oh, we're going to go up over it a little bit. That's fine. Oh, we almost drove down into the pond there. That would have Okay, now we have a tree stuck in front of me, too. How did they ever drive back here? We must not have found the driveway, or maybe the driveway got washed away. I don't know what. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna have to just kind of try it. So let's see what happens. Go down into it. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah. Dude, this truck is a beast. We got up over here, no problem. <laughs> Check it out. We got the truck across the pond, so now we can see... Well, really, if we want to get any of this stuff out of here, like this truck is really, really cool. Uh, we're probably going to have to make a path, maybe make a bridge right here. But this is the cabin. Honestly, this cabin looks really, really, really good. And I'm thinking we might even just clean it up a little bit. Maybe, you know, actually get a driveway going here in a garage and stuff. And we have a nice little house up here. This would be beautiful. Quite the slope off in the back. I mean, it's not like there's a whole lot of room. So you can see the house is built on a big foundation here trying to keep it level. So... It is, uh, it is pretty challenging. But, I mean, come on. Who could argue with a view like that, dude? That is... I, I would love that. <laughs> Wake up every day, just sit right here, enjoy some coffee in the morning. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, let's see what we got out here. So, our truck... Well, we ended up passing this thing as we drove right through here. I don't think this old Chevy is going to start. In fact, is this tree on? Hold on. Did this tree fall on this? I think it did. Maybe around the back? No, it's not. It's actually... Yeah, it hit the land. So, this thing is just barely underneath. That's a good thing. So, that means we don't have to move this tree necessarily, which is going to be a lifesaver. But I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this thing thing you know what let's try it let's see if i can pull this thing out and up there's a rock here and then there's a pond here uh dude oh my gosh we'd have to like crank it straight this way we'd have to be at a 90 we have to be what is this a 45 this might even be tighter like a 
freaking 35 degree angle. What? Oh, okay. I think we can do this, but I have to go back to town and get something real quick. And in the process, I might also see if we can't uh, build a little bridge here of some sort. Man, when they say they got a sale, 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 they really mean it, don't they? All right, gonna hop up into the Ram, get connected. I hope we can connect to that. Tr oh, our truck might be too lifted. Hold on. See if we can back up underneath that without hitting the... Oh, oh man. Well, you know what? That'll be fine. We only need one tire in the back touching the ground, right? Something cool that we got with this Bobcat is this little hydraulic press thing or this hydraulic brake and it breaks rocks. Did not know that was a thing in the game, but uh, we're going to have some fun with it. All right, hold on. Before we get that loaded up, we need to make sure we toss this bucket. And luckily, you know, this is a little light bucket, nothing too heavy, just nice and easy to drop right on into the trailer. Uh, but now we got to get the skids here loaded. A little bit of a different story. Well, not really, you know, pretty light pretty easy you know you just pick it up you just kind of toss it right on into the trailer yeah just like that i mean i don't know if you've ever seen but that's how they load them at construction sites it's pretty crazy all right cool so we got everything that we need from town we can run back up to the house now and we'll actually be able to use this bobcat to kind of oh hold on wait a minute we didn't get everything we needed we needed one more thing good news everyone i got it the the thing that we were missing and now we're headed back to the house bad news is is nighttime is falling out here quick and uh well we gotta figure out where we're gonna stay all right let's just go ahead and unload the bobcat there we go Go ahead and unload the shovel. Never know when you're going to need that. Never know if we're going to find that again. Oh, sorry. Hold on. I'm just, I'm going to need that. Just go over. Yeah, go back in the trailer. You little, you little dickens. Yes, you did. Get out of the trailer. Just next to the trailer. There you go. Good boy. In the bobcat. Start it up. In the pond. I'm sure that that's fine. Let's go here and, uh, we'll smash some rocks, eh? This one in particular right here is kind of a pain. I would like you very kindly to jackhammer this rock vigorously. Okay, there you go. Yup, destroy the rock, please. Be gone, rock. Rock goes bye-bye today. Okay, so I'm starting to think that's not how this is used. Is this only for small rocks? I need a small rock to, oh look, a small rock. Time to be destroyed, buddy. I'm being lied to. I'm being lied to. This isn't doing anything. I came out here with the intention of pile driving some rock into the ground. And instead, instead, I'm going to disappointedly drive myself off the side of a mountain. Hasta la vista, baby. And there it goes. Oh, okay. So here's the deal. We're going to consider that a failure. And we're just going to drive over here and get this thing unstuck. Forget the rocks. The rocks aren't a problem. But you know what is a problem? The fact that this poor truck is stuck down here with nowhere to go. Well, don't you worry, Mr. Truck, because I'm going to I'm going to hook you up. See, I hooked you up right there. <sighs> okay, so we've got the truck hooked up. Let's see if we can pull it out of that little creek and uh, up onto this side here with our ram. Here we go. I'm gonna try and pull it out the old Chevy flatbed. Come on, we're slipping on that rock, but we're making a little bit of progress. Okay, it's not really working. Let me try yanking it. Oof. And yank it, I did. That's one way to turn. There we go. Okay, an upsie daisy. I, are those wheels not even turning? This is definitely where we wanted to be. There we go. There we go, over the rock, around the tree, through the, through the woods, not into the house. You know what? That's a perfect spot for you to sit right there. Let me just come back here, get my chain back. Appreciate you, buddy. Here, let me let me unhook you. All right, you just hang out right there, okay, bud? So we got one of them rescued. We'll see if we can get it started and maybe on out of here later. But I want to roll back here and see what else there might be. Okay, so we rolled around to the other side, and it looks like there's a shed here. So let's go ahead and see what's inside of the... Oh, no. I'm inside of the shed. Hey, Chevy. You know how I gave you a hand earlier? Do you want to pull me out of this? No? Okay. Well, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just be here then. Whew. Man, you know, I've never had, uh, I've never been stuck inside of a tin roof before, but I tell you, it's not a, it's not a time you want to experience. Let's go ahead and see what is inside of here, shall we? All right, here we go. Opening up. Three, two, one. And it's gonna be... Oh, dude. It's like an off-road buggy. It, this thing looks like it's bulletproof, too. Okay, let's see if this thing will even start here. Let's fire it up. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. I think we got it. Turn on the... Yep, we got it. Turn on the lights. Okay, here we go. 
Pulling on out. Oh, dude. This is so cool. Look at this thing. This is awesome. I can just tell right now that whoever like lived out here, they went ripping through the land in this for sure. In fact, you know what? Let's, uh, a true, to tr true to tradition. Let's go ahead and rip out here ourselves. But I, oh my gosh. Okay. Watch out for the pond, Jake. Okay. I might not be as good. Oh man. Okay. I'm definitely not as good as at driving this as I thought I would be, but still it is really, really cool. So I'm excited to uh, maybe see what this thing gets appraised at. All right. So we'll just keep this parked kind of right outside the shed right here. And now let's go ahead and open up this other. Oh man. Okay. Let's go ahead and open up this side here and see what's going to be inside. Ooh, an old school hot rod. Okay, okay. This thing doesn't have a roof. Oh, no. Oh, no wonder it's inside the shed. You guys think it's going to start? Let's try it. Here we go. See if we can get it to start. No, no. Come on. Yeah, I think we got it. Roll on out. Get the white wall tires. This thing is in mint condition, dude. Holy cow. I almost don't even want to drive it out here. You know what I think? I think this is something that gets loaded on that flatbed and that flatbed pulls it out. What do you say? Okay, you might be asking yourself, Jake, how did you get that loaded on there? And all I have to say to that is uh, I know a guy. But moving on, let's see what else is out here. So I did, when we were pulling through, I noticed something back here. Check this thing out. There is an old, oh, now I'm stepping down in the pond. There's an old Ford tractor here and it's like got these really I don't even know what these tires are. They're huge, both on the front and back. Let's see if we can like climb up on it. There we go. Let's see if we can get in that driver's seat. All right, here we go. Let's see if we fire it up. Come on. Come on, old Ford. Come on, old Ford. Dude, all this stuff is actually starting. It must be because it's not too cold out. All right, let's see. Can you go forward, buddy? Oh. You're definitely not going forward on that rock, are you? You're stuck for sure. Okay, let's see. Can we back you up a little bit? There you go. Nice and easy. Maybe right off over here. These big tires on it, though. It just drives through the forest, no problem. Come on, come on, come on. There it goes. Nice. So, so far, we've recovered a flatbed truck, a tractor, a hot rod, a buggy. It's been a really good day so far, man. I can't believe that everything is running too. That is what, and they all look like they're in great condition. It's just a coincidence, isn't it? Well, anyways, I think that's everything out here. I don't think there was anything else. There's our doom buggy. We went driving down that way. Um, there's, we got the deal out from right here and yeah, we got that out there. I think we're done. Oh, wait, <laughs> is there something back here? Hold on. Is that a military truck? Well, no wonder I couldn't see it. It's it's camo. You know, it's like John Cena. You can't see me. I don't know what this is doing back here, but hey, it gives us a... Oh, we can load everything up onto this. Oh, idea. Yeah, we got it. Okay, cool. So we got it started. Let's go. And we, oh, this thing is so cool. All right, let's start driving forward here. And Can I start it again? Can I start it? Come on. Don't, don't be like that. Don't be like that. Come on. Yeah. That's what I thought. Let's drive it forward. Nice and easy. Through the water. I'm sure this thing don't care at all. Um, we have a problem. The ramp for the trailer is in the air. I wonder if I can get that still. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, you got it. You can do it. Okay, that's definitely not happening. Well, then that is what it is. And we're just going to have to take these things. Oh, sorry, tractor. I'll come back and get you later. We're just going to have to take all these things one trip at a time on out of here. And uh, you know what? Let's just go through the pond. Who cares? But guys, that is going to be it for this barn find. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, I'll see you all later.